Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Apex. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you the best setting for the brand new season of Fortnite, Chapter 2, Season 4. So, in this video, I'm going to show you also the in game setting and the out game settings for all of this PC if you have the Nvidia GPU, if you have the AMD GPU, and if you have the low end or high end PC. So, guys, I'm going to show you the best setting for the Fortnite chapter 2 season 4 so just guys make sure to stick with this video till the end and I'm going to show you how can you guys do out these settings so guys just make sure to guys drop a like onto this video and make sure to also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification because next whenever I upload on my channel so you can watch it without wasting any time so guys let's go straight into this video so guys simple first of all you need to just go into the settings and set out your windows mode onto the full screen guys if you have the low GPU usage so this video is also fix out your problem so just make sure to follow out all of my settings so just set it onto the windows full screen and just lock out your frame rate onto the 120 or the 60 fps according to your PC specs. But if you have the uh, texture not loading problem in your game, so just set it onto the 60% and just apply out the settings. Now scroll down and guys also set out the brightness onto the default which is the 100%. Now go ahead for the other settings, set out all of the settings onto the low just take the uh, three resolutions onto the 100% or the 80% but I will suggest you to go with the 100% for getting the best quality of your game but if you want to get more FPS in your game and fix out the stutter so just set it onto the 80% and just reduce all of the setting onto the low just because the sake of the video I'm just set it onto the high but you need to just set it onto the everything onto the low like this now go ahead for the next setting which is the V-Things just turn off the V-Things, turn off the motion blur and just also turn off the show FPS next here is the DirectX version so guys I suggest you to go with the DirectX 12 beta version because it is guys also fix out your problem and guys give you the stable FPS in your game if you want to fix out the stutter and want to get the stable or the smooth experience in the game so just go ahead with the DirectX 12 beta version. Next here is the allow multi threading options. So if you have more than 4 thread uh, processor like if you have the more than a uh, 3rd generation processor like i5, 4th, i7, 3rd gen. So just turn on these options. But if you have the low end CPU like i5, 2500K like I have also this CPU on my PC. So just guys turn off these options. Next here is the use GPU debugging. Also turn it off. Next go ahead for the settings and just turn off all of these replay mode from here and just apply out the settings now just after doing out the setting now guys we are going to go ahead for the next setting for our pc to optimization of our game so guys the first and the most important step to guys update your driver onto the latest version if you have the amd or the nvidia gpu so guys make sure to update it onto the latest version so just for updating it you can also go onto the website of the nvidia and also onto the amd so just go into the chrome browser and just click onto this link i will give you the link of the amd and the nvidia website in the description so just go there and guys update your driver onto the latest version for just updating your driver you need to just go onto the nvidia or the amd side and select out your gpu model so I have the RX 564GB so here is the AMD all these softwares so it is into the AMD Radeon series 500 RX 500 series and here is my GPU which is the Radeon RX 560 so just select out this model click here on the submit button and just download the latest driver for your AMD for the Nvidia it is also the same just select out your product type your product series and your product name from here click here on the search button and just download the latest driver for your gpu model so just after updating your driver now we are going to go ahead for the fortnite optimization so first of all i will also give you the link of the config file of the fortnite into the descriptions of this video so just go there and just download that config file and just paste out that uh, config file now i'm going to show you where you are uh, just simply uh, paste out it so just press windows plus r button from your keyboard and just this window will be pop up on your screen just simply type here percentage app data percentage click ok now go for the app data local fortnite games saved configs windows client and here is the location of the user game settings 
So just simply right click here and just paste out the uh, game user setting which you download from the descriptions link down there. So just after uh, pasting out it here, go into the properties of the uh, game user setting and make sure guys this is no check mark here. Now click OK and go back into the Fortnite folder. Go into the saved one, go into the crashes and delete out all of the crashes from this list. I have already did it for the optimization of my game. Now go back into the save folder, go into this demos and delete out all of this save replay from your uh, demos folder of the Fortnite because it is also guys help out you to increasing your FPS. Just after doing this, now you're going to simply close out this window and go ahead for the window settings. Just click here on the windows icon and go into the settings. First of all, you need to simply go into the gaming sections of your windows. Go for the game mode and turn off this game mode from here. Because you can also guys tell me in the comment sections because guys uh, for some games like offline games like GTA 5 or all the other games like Far Cry other ones this game mode is really help out you but for the online the Fortnite one especially this is guys not help out you to increasing your FPS it is guys uh, reduce your FPS and cause the stutters in your game so guys make sure to guys turn off the game mode from here now go into the xbox game bar and also turn off this one go into the xbox networking and just close out all of these things from here now go back onto the home sections go for the privacy tab go ahead for the background application and just turn off all of the background apps from your pc which is running in your background and guys sucks your all the ram your gpu and your cpu usage so just turn off all of the applications which is running in the background of your pc so just turn it off just after doing this step now you need to simply go for the task manager on the pc go into the startup services and just disable out all of the unused services from your pc how can you guys disable out services from here just right click here and just simply click here on the disable button and disable out the status from here and it will not run on your pc whenever you start your pc so just close out this window and now we are going to go for the directory of your game where you install it so simply go into this pc go for the drive where you install it most people install it onto the default location which is the c drive but i installed it on my local x f and guys also here is the most important thing make sure to guys free up your local x where you have installed the fortnite or any other game like 90 gb or 100 gb because it is also increase the performance of your pc increase the fps in your game so simply go into the local x where you have installed it here is fortnite folder i installed it into the fortnite go for the fortnite games binary win64 and here is the main directory of the fortnite here is the 4 exe file of the fortnite so one by one you need to go into the simply into the properties go into the compatibility and just check mark here onto the disable full screen optimization check mark here also onto the run this program as administrator now go for the change high dpi and check mark here on the override high dpi scaling behavior and select out it onto the applications one click ok apply the setting click ok again and do the same step for all of these files i have already did it i just show you for our rm file go into the properties compatibility and you can just check mark here onto the disable full screen optimization you can also check it uh, the run this program as administrator for all of the file but guys you can just do it for the first file now go into the change high dpa select out here click ok apply the setting click ok again and now just close out this window next guys now we are going to optimize our gpu for the best performance in the game so for this you need to just right click on your desktop go to the display settings and select out the recommended resolution on your pc like i just go back into the display settings and select out the native 10 uh, 1080p resolutions 920 multiplied by 1080 on your pc or any other recommended display resolution for the gaming now go for the gpu settings or the graphic settings select it onto the desktop applications click here on the browse button and locate out your fortnite directory and select out this first fortnite client win64 shipping file or you can also select out all of these ports so just I add all of this here like first second and here the third one now one by one we are going to go into the options set it onto the high go for the next one set it onto the high go for the next one set it onto the high save the settings 
and do the same setup for all of these Fortnite files. So just after doing the setting, now close out this window, go into the properties of your PC, go for the device manager and guys disable out the uh, high precision event timer on your PC. Go into the display or the system devices, right click here onto the high precision event timer. I have already disabled it, so just right click and just disable this device from here. Now close out the device manager. Go for the advanced settings, performance settings, select it onto the custom one, click here onto the show shadows under the mouse pointer, show the thumbnail instead of icons and just also check mark here onto the smooth edges of your fonts and just uncheck this all of the boxes, click apply, click ok, click ok again, just close out all of these windows. So guys now all of the settings is done for the Fortnite chapter 2 season 4 and after doing the setting you will get the guys insane performance of your PC for the Fortnite in this new brand new season. So guys also tell me in the comment section if, if you get the victory umbrella of your new seasons or not. So just tell me in the comment section and make sure guys also like this video, subscribe to my channel and guys see you in the next video. Allah Hafiz and bye bye.